All right, what's up? So today I'm going to be making a kind of a makeshift oil ground. So I'm using the remnants of a oil ground made by Williamsburg. So this would be um, this would be ground in linseed oil or refined linseed oil, um, and they make their oil their lead oil ground out of of course uh, lead carbonate, and they also use marble dust and then. Uh, refined linseed oil. So you can see I don't really have too much left in the container, but I'm going to get what I can out of it. Um, and then I'm going to be mixing it with um, a little bit leftover um, flake white paint that I made in walnut oil. You sh really shouldn't use walnut oil for an oil ground, but I'm doing this because I only have a little bit of it. Predominantly this uh, oil ground will be made with linseed oil. But there is going to be, like I, like I just showed you, a little bit that's going to be walnut oil. And I'm just taking bits and pieces of uh, lead paint I have um, and basically combining it all into one. So I have a solid oil ground while ha without having to go out and buy more. And there you can see this is Williamsburg, just straight flake white. So this is just lead carbonate in refined linseed oil, whereas their lead oil ground has marble dust in it, as well as a little bit of titanium white. Uh, not much, but just enough to boost the whiteness of it. Uh, and the and then here's uh, some. This is dry pigment. This would be eggshell white. So that'd be basically crushed eggshells and then pretty much um, calcium carbonate. And that's just that fills in the same place as a chalk or a marble dust would uh, be. Uh, it's just there for adhesion. Every oil ground should have. A few different characteristics. One would be strength, and that's where the lead comes into play. And another would be adhesion, and that's where chalk, marble dust, or uh, crushed eggshells would come into play. Uh, and here I'm going to mix some. So there you see that's the dry pigment. And I'm going to use cold pressed linseed oil. Ideally, if I was making a fresh batch of oil ground, I would be using probably marble dust, uh, lead carbonate, and cold pressed linseed oil those would be the only things I would use there'd be no little there'd be no amount of titanium no walnut oil um, I don't think there's a huge difference when it comes to cold pressed versus refined but I prefer cold pressed I prefer cold pressed to, out of any of the oils I use just because it's it's less tampered with in my opinion but whatever and I think it, it might yellow less I'm not sure but it's just something that I've come to, that's a conclusion I've came to by some of the samples I've seen. But, so here you see I'm just mixing this batch up and the the, uh, the eggshell white actually yellows when you add the uh, oil to it. Because um, it's an inert, it's an inert pigment. So it's not really that recommended to be painted with you can paint with it but it's not very recommended um you could use it as an off-white and i was originally i was going to use it as um kind of an off-white type lead replacement uh you know because i was working with a sulfur based pigment and i didn't want my lead white to go black so yeah but this is kind of a makeshift. This is basically me making the most out of the materials I have at hand. Instead of going out and buying a new oil ground or buying a pound of lead white pigment and making a new one, I'm just doing this. So here's here's the mix and here's what I ended up getting out of the containers. The first one you see there, that's the walnut oil, what I got out of that container. Uh, walnut oil lead. There's what you see I got out of the flake white Williamsburg, just flake white. Um, then there you go, that's the... Uh, the lead oil ground. I didn't really get a whole bunch out of the lead oil ground, but I still got a little bit. And there you can see right in the middle, that would be the uh, the eggshell white, which is the calcium carbonate. Now I'm just going to mix all these together. Um, you know, so it's basically all just going to go together, and it's going to be a uh, it's going to be it's going to be similar to the Williamsburg lead oil ground that I had, but I'm using um, eggshell white, which would be calcium carbonate instead of uh, marble dust, which is, they, they both have the same properties of uh, making a surface more adhesive almost. So it, and the benefit of using oil ground over acryl, um, an acrylic, uh, an acrylic gesso ground would be that it's less absorbent. So 
and lead's stronger than titanium, so yeah. Just if I'm if I'm painting with uh, with oils, this is something that new for me. I've only done this maybe four times now. Uh, I'd prefer to use a lead oil ground of this nature. But there you can see that's the finished product. Uh, finished product. Now I'm just going to tube it. And I end up actually needing two tubes for this. So I ended up filling a tube and a half of uh, 60 mill uh, milliliter tubes. Um, but I'm happy now that the next few paintings I'm going to do, I have an oil ground ready. So I can prime, I can start priming the linen whenever it's sized and ready to go. So this will probably last me for a couple small to medium paintings because I'm going to end up using two layers. But you end up thinning the oil ground with turpentine or odorless mineral spirits, whichever one you'd use. Um, so this is just... And this just goes to show you what you can do when you have spare materials laying around. You can just make the you make the most out of what you have. Like you saw, all the containers I had were pretty much empty, so I got the idea: just mix them all together, make an oil ground. And I had the uh, eggshell white left over from a previous project that I never ended up getting to. So this is what I had. This is me putting the best to scrap materials. Anyone could do this kind of thing. Uh, I'd like to do a more refined video eventually of me making a lead oil ground, but this is what I got for now. Thanks for watching.